Raphael, the crowd was great. And I got to tell you, that was an outstanding performance. Assess what you thought of what you did tonight. Well, it was, uh, you know, for me, it's very emotional now to be back in, in, in the semifinals here in, in Melbourne. I, I had some troubles in this event uh, during all my career. So uh, after a while without playing, be back to, to that semifinal means everything to me. So I just want to say thank you very, very much, everybody, for this. Great, great feelings. Uh, Better impossible now be, be, be able to play in this court is always so special and uh, of course very happy the way that I played tonight. If I told you, if I told you that you, know, you haven't played a tournament since the US Open, you're now in the semifinals in Australia and you wouldn't have lost a set, what would you have told me? I don't know. <laughs> uh, just... Um, that can happen, but uh, it's not, uh, the possibilities are not very high, so just, uh, <laughs> uh, just very happy. I, I feel lucky to be where I am after all the things that I went through to, to be able to keep competing at this, at this level. Uh, that's, that's why I, I wake up every morning and I go on court or to the gym with, uh, with a goal to be a better player. Do you take particular pleasure on beating up on these young guys? No, uh, I said a uh, couple of rounds ago, a uh, couple of rounds ago, that they can wait a little bit. Uh, but looks that they they don't want to wait. You know, they <laughs> they are. They are there, no? uh, you know, Francis here in the quarterfinals, uh, Stefanos now in the semifinals. So it's going to be um, a great year in terms of sharing uh, generations. That makes the, this sport a special too. And uh, yeah, that will be interesting. Let's see what happens. I'm assuming you notice in a couple of Francis, Francis uh, Tiafo's wins that he tore his shirt off when he won and started pumping his biceps. Do you ever get tempted to do that with the body you got? No, I, being honest, I, I don't have his body. You could have fooled me. Huh? I said, you could have fooled me. It looks pretty damn good to me. No. You can do it. I cannot. You don't want to see mine. Would you care to do it for the crowd? Just one time. No. <laughs> so, tell me about a little bit about Stefano Sissipas, who you play in the semis. He had an unbelievable match, obviously, against Roger, and it was pretty impressive that he was able to follow it up today against a fellow Spaniard. So, t tell me what you think you got in store in a couple of days. Yeah, um, well, he's a player that during uh, the last year he he had been in improving every month now. So uh, he already won a uh, tournament. He played uh, final in, in the Open 500 in Barcelona, then in, in Toronto. Uh, then he's, he's here in the semifinal. He's able to win against the best players of the world already. Um, he's uh, a great player and uh, he has uh, <laughs> fantastic, uh, he's unbelievable today, but he will have uh, the chance to be one of the, of the best for, for such a long time. I'm assuming that uh, he's watched the match and uh, throughout the tournament, I mean, even, or you tell me if you've been surprised, you've been hitting that forehand up the line unbelievably well. I mean, I think as well as I've ever seen you hit it. Tell me what, uh, tell me if you agree with that or how you feel you're hitting that shot. Um, yeah, I can't tell you nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, I uh, have been practicing uh, during the whole off season with the surf and the first shot. And uh, during this event, uh, probably I did more times than ever. No? Surf and the winner with the first forehand. No? That's something that is very important for me. And it's very important for me today, but it's very important if I want to, to, to keep playing for, for a few years because that's given me um, a lot of free points and that's uh, so important at this stage of my career. So I, I'm very happy about this improvement. I'm going to keep working on that because that's, that's making me feel better. And um, I, I really enjoy uh, serving and hitting the first forehand. No, I, I normally used to, to prepare more the point, but 
now it's working well like this. <laughs> Well, maybe that has something to do. Last time I asked you about your trainer over there, Rafael, but this time I'm going to ask you about Carlos Moya because you, you, had, you had Uncle Tony in your corner for so many years. I know he's very depressed that he's in Spain having to watch and not be here, or maybe he isn't. Tell me about what Carlos Moya brings to the table for you, what he's added to your team. Well, being honest, no, I feel very lucky about all the all the people that I had around me during all my career. No, of course, my younger have been uh, probably the most important person in in my career. But uh, one year and a half ago, he he decided to stop. And uh, you know, since Carlos uh, came, uh, have been a great combination with with Francis too. No, and uh, Carlos is uh, is giving me the. Um, the another view of the of the game too he we, we were practicing since he came a little bit different uh, uh, different exercises and uh, you know at some point of your career is is important to to change things too and uh, to find new things and with carlos uh, uh, he likes the statistics i enjoy sharing this this uh, these things with him we prepare good the matches i think and we we have uh, everything more or less planified. Depends on the, how the body answers, but uh, in general terms, uh, we have uh, a good organization and we have uh, a great team working together, and that's uh, that's so important for me. You know, that means everything. I, I always believe it in a long-term projects, and now having uh, uh, the same team almost for <laughs> 20 years means everything for me. <laughs> Well, the view is pretty good from the top, and the body looks great. Rafael Nadal, congrats on an awesome match. Keep it up. Rafael Nadal, ladies and gentlemen.